So welcome back to another video from Microbial Concepts. So today's topic is scope of microbiology. So after your 12th grade, you have options for say, many subjects. You have options in science to pursue your degree, right? So if you're willing to opt for microbiology, then you should know the scope of microbiology. Or if you are in the first year of microbiology, then you get a question in your uh, theory exam about what is scope of microbiology. OK, so just a brief video here to give you an idea about what is what is microbiology or what a microbiologist do in various fields. OK, so scope of microbiology. So here we go. So microbiology is interdisciplinary science, which includes subjects like molecular biology, genetics and immunology. OK, so microbiology is not a single subject. It is actually an interdisciplinary science where you deal with many sub subjects. OK, so the scope of microbiology is huge. Why? Because there are many sub subjects which you learn. OK, so now uh, if you are actually willing to pursue your degree in microbiology, then you will uh, get to know about two main branches which uh, the institute or colleges they offer. That is first is general microbiology where all these subjects are taught. And another one is industrial microbiology, where all the subjects are taught plus an additional subject is taught that is through the uh, of, yeah by the perspective of industrial uh, scope okay or for the commercialization what all is required so there is a separate subject that is industrial microbiology okay so in general you uh, get a degree in either general microbiology or industrial microbiology and for your masters you can opt for or for your PhD you can opt for a very specific subject okay so about that we will talk further so the scope of microbiology is huge because of involvement of microbiology in various fields like pharmacy medicine very important then clinical research even clinical research now has got a very very huge importance I will say in the pandemic right for COVID-19 and uh, the researchers and scientists they got a good credit right good importance then agriculture dairy industry water industry water industry and even wastewater industry then nanotechnology a very emerging and hot topic and even chemical technology okay so these are uh, various or fields where microbiology or a microbiologist is required. So now who are microbiologists? So microbiologist is a person who specializes in this field. OK, so microbiologists are scientists or those who study organisms, infectious agent, which cannot be seen through our unprotected eyes. We need microscope. OK, so microbiologist is a person who has a very good idea and good knowledge detailed knowledge about microbes okay and they study the interaction of microbes with other microorganisms or organisms and humans and which exist and affect our lives okay so they study uh, interactions with humans interactions with even plants interactions with animals okay as uh, in case of say medical microbiology uh, we study the interaction of microbes with humans in plant pathology we study interaction of microbes with plants right so these are the separate separate subjects or subtopics or sub sub subjects i will say which are taught under microbiologist and if you special if you want or if you like to specialize in that then you get a degree and you can get or you can pursue your job or say research in that particular field. So this is up to you. The role of microbiologist is to ensure our food is safe or not. Developing green technologies, treating and preventing diseases or tracking the role of microbes in climate change, even doing research on some real issues. OK, so that is the role of microbiologist. 
Microbiologists, they work in many different job areas, okay, and in a variety of different job roles. So microbiologists can make career in research and non-research fields, right? So that's about different subjects. Now, let's see what are the subjects which you can focus for your specialization. A virologist is one who studies viruses, okay? So virology is the subject. Bacteriology is the subject and one who studies or gets specialization in bacteriology is known as bacteriologist. Same goes for phycology that is study of algae. One who specializes in that is known as phycologist. Mycologist is one who specializes in study of fungi and is known as mycologist. Last is protozoologist or protozoology for protozoa. So these are the uh, different fields where you can specialize. Even uh, another one is, for example, um, immunologist, expert in immunology. Okay, then different fields uh, can also be classified depending on microbial morphology, microbial physiology, microbial cytology, microbial ecology, microbial genetics, molecular biology, microbial taxonomy and medical microbiology depending on their applications okay another is depending on the public health okay so depending on the public health microbiology there are subjects like food microbiology dairy microbiology immunology okay then let's uh, see somewhat in detail about what are the scopes of microbiology in following fields so first is ecology and environment so bacteria are uh, primarily we know them as decomposers okay so they recycle nutrients back into environment so they are also useful in sewage treatment plants Winogradsky and Byrenke they studied soil microbes and their role in biochemical cycles of sulfur carbon and nitrogen right so if you are in first year or maybe first and second year you will study these biochemical cycles of carbon carbon nitrogen and sulfur then insect pest control okay so uh, biopesticides this is another application of microbiology okay so some bacteria they are used as biopesticide okay to control insects for example bacillus thuringiensis bt okay bt cotton bt brinjal those are the examples where bacteria are used as bio pesticides okay so the yield uh, or the crop is termed as bt then bioremediation so microbes are also used to clean up the pollutants and toxic waste for example pseudomonas petida and it is used to remove petroleum spills so these are the applications and uh, the scope so you can do your research you can find some good application and commercialize it the next is food microbiology so in food microbiology microbes are used in various food and dairy industry products okay so products like cheese pickle sauerkraut green olives uh, yogurt soy sauce vinegar bread beer wine alcohol etc okay so if you uh, if you find food microbiology interesting and if you love fermentation technology then you can perceive your career in food industry okay the next is about medicine so medicine has two parts that is clinical and pharmaceutical so pharmaceutical is uh, where microbiologists are required for quality control quality assurance okay to test whether the uh, pharmaceutical product which is being produced and commercialized is free of bacteria it meets all standards and all okay so that is one and in clinical actually for clinical trials and for the study microbiologists are also required so disease treatment is the first point here so microbes are used to produce antibiotics we know that right so penicillin notatum is used to produce penicillin and it was discovered by Alexander Fleming. Bacteria also synthesize vitamins which is also needed for our body. For example, E. coli. Other vitamins are like vitamin B, vitamin K, they are also required for our body to function well and they are also produced by using some bacteria. 
bacteria can be genetically modified or the wild type itself can be used so gene therapy for treatment of genetic disease is another example okay so these this is about medicine now about vaccines and immunology so vaccine activates our immune response and Edward Jenner inoculated people with cowpox to protect against smallpox and from that time vaccines they got developed then Pasha developed the rabies vaccine and uh, Bering and Ketacito they produce toxic vaccine against diphtheria and tetanus okay then Mackinkoff described the role of phagocytic cells in defense so that is about vaccines and immunology then next is about genetic engineering okay so this is a little bit controversial topic because some of the um, population I can say they oppose genetic engineering while some they support genetic engineering because genetic engineering can be used to solve some of our real life issues okay so microorganisms are used in recombinant DNA technology and genetically engine and genetic engineering to manipulate their genes for production of useful products such as enzymes hormones interferons etc for example most popular and widely used um, genetic engineering technology is for insulin production okay so microorganisms are used as model organism in molecular biology so before moving further just a reminder here that if all these terms are going tangent to you and you are actually new to this subject you don't know what are the uh, terms and uh, what actually microbiology is then just go on google type that term and read it okay uh, try to read on Wikipedia or some simple language where you actually get an idea that what this subject is about Okay, and see if your interest matches or not. Okay, so don't just blindly blindly opt for microbiology microbiology is really a vast subject Yes, it is interesting, but you should match your interest with it if you are actually interested in microbiology Then and then only you should opt for it okay so next is about biochemistry and physiology so biochemistry and physiology are subjects where actually you study what's what is going inside a microbial cell okay so microorganisms are used as model for study of many biochemical and bio and physiological processes and that is the reason the um, these subjects are included in your syllabus okay so that you should relate you should understand what is going inside a microbial cell as we use my, them or the various different microbes for say commercialization okay for industrial fermentation technology or say for uh, production of insulin so you should know that what is going inside that particular bacterial cell okay so for that reason you need to study biochemistry the next is industrial microbiology the subject which I mentioned earlier right so microbes are used in economic and industrial purposes for many different reasons okay so biotechnology fermentation technology food and beverages etc are now established on large industrial scale for income okay so here also you need microbes and to study them to control them to uh, do large scale production you need microbiologist okay so next is about agriculture microbiology so this is uh, the topic where actually I like this topic as uh, there are many different different subjects under agriculture microbiology itself because there is genetic engineering there is uh, biofertilizers biopesticides then um, yeah many other many many other uh, topics where you can actually find your interest you can work you can find your job for or you can go for research okay even plant tissue culture is one of the important topic from agriculture microbiology so genetic engineering is used for production of transgenic plants and animals and animals and plants improvement by biotechnology for better production resistant to environmental fluctuations is what is or is what they are improved for right so molecular farming transgenic animals or plants are used as bioreactors for mass production 
so this is one of the uh, applications of genetic engineering as they are used for mass productions okay then next is geochemical microbiology so bioleaching is one of the important topic from geochemical microbiology where recovery of minerals from low grade ores is done and microorganisms they play a very important role in geochemical cycles last is exomicrobiology where exploring uh, the outer space life is aimed okay so this was about scope of microbiology i hope you understood what all comes under scope of microbiology so if you get a short note on this topic then you can elaborate at least six to seven topics which are mentioned here and yeah i think this video is helpful to you all thank you for watching this video do like share and subscribe to my channel and keep supporting